Lovely sunshine, it's Celia again filling in for Harriet. I'm here with Jenny and Mitzi, you'll hear them off screen prompting me when I forget things, bits of information. Thank you so much for all your orders this week, we really really appreciate it. We're here every week making videos for you so don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Um, this week we are talking about plaids, checks, ginghams and grids and patterns to go with that so let's get started. We're going to start off with this beautiful organic cotton jersey. It's the green grid. It's in the sale at the moment and it is a bargain. And what we thought would be really nice because um, I don't know if you, if I talked about this before, but I really like colour blocking with sweatshirting and, um, and I think this would make a really good colour block sweatshirt. We've got um, a few different colours of this, as you can see them here. We've got the light blue and the pink, and you could also mix it with some of our plain cosy colours as well we've got here, which would be really nice. Um, it's really soft, it's a really nice weight as well, and we thought it'd be really nice to make a Yara jumper by... Megan Nielsen, and um, there are a few different options. It's got a really nice tie detail here on the front as well. So um, yeah, this in some with some different colours, some different patterns. Don't be afraid to, to pattern block either. Um, that's really exciting for us. So the next fabric I'm going to talk about is the Tencel two-tone check from Meat Milk. It's in the colour Anchor. It's beautiful. It's a really nice weight. I've actually made a pair of trousers out of the black two-tone stripe from Meat Milk. Um, it's, yeah, as I said, it's a really nice weight. It's really, and it's really good throughout the seasons. I've worn my black ones all through winter, so hard recommend um, for that. And the pattern we've chosen is the Miller Trouser by Paper Theory. Now, Jenny just pointed out you can actually make these trousers in a bunch of different um, woven fabrics from sort of kind of light medium right through to heavyweight. Um, so yeah, it suggests linen, drill, canvas or light denim. So you've got lots of scope for finding amazing check fabrics to make these in. Up next we have this brushed cotton twill in this black, white and grey check. It's got a lot of body and structure, uh, but it's also got quite a nice drape to it as well and um, I did talk about this in the video last week because it's new in um, but we just wanted to shout out about it even more because it's such a nice fabric and um, we reckon we we talked about last week um, making shackets and things like that from it um, but this week we have been talking in the studio a lot about the September coat. Now the September coat um, from Merchant and Mills is comes in two size bands and you can have it lined or unlined. If you wanna line it, that's great. We've got a couple of um, uh, sand wash satins which are perfect for lining, um, which I also talked about last week, but especially the black one I think would look really great in there. Or you could go with a contrasting color or you can have it unlined depending on what you wanna wear it for. Um, and it, you can use lots of different weights for this, um, depending on how structured you want your coat to be. But this we thought would just make a really nice sort of springy um, coat for that sort of transitional season. Our next check is the Madeira from Lady McElroy. It's a really glorious, brightly coloured check in all different sizes um, and all different colours. I just love it. This is one of my favourite fabrics we have here. It's so beautiful it's a really soft lawn as you get with lawns um, and it's got a lovely drape I personally wanted to make a pair of trousers out of it because I love a bit of pattern and a bit of color as you can see um, but the pattern that we went for today is the Davenport dress from Friday Pattern Company um, this is a really beautiful dress it's got loads of really lovely details with little cap sleeves and um, the ruffle around the bottom we just thought it would lend itself perfectly to this fabric because you could really incorporate all the lines um, going both directions you could have things cut on the bias you could really go nuts with this fabric and it is just amazing this next choice was a bit of a controversial one in the studio because not everyone thought that this counted as a grid but to be perfectly honest these are squares this is the burgundy cotton waffle as you can see it's multiple squares within squares within squares therefore grid so we um, we decided that the Marlowe Cardi was a really great choice for this because you can make it in um, wovens or stretch fabrics. Jenny's a massive fan of the Marlowe. She always goes for the crop one, but there is a uh, sort of thigh length one as well. I think the picture on the front of the pattern is the um, view B, which is uh, kind of the longer one. Um, and you can use 
uh, wovens as long as you use a stretchy, um, what's it called? Ribbing. Ribbing. Thank you, Jenny. <laughs> and we picked out this burgundy ribbing to go with the burgundy, but you could use a contrast. Um, also, you could use, as I said, the sweatshirting that I showed you earlier, the grid. That would make a really beautiful um, Marlowe Cardi. So, um, yeah, this is a great pattern because you can have lots of fun with it. You could also colour block it. You could pattern block it. Go nuts. So next I'm going to talk about gingham. Now gingham is a favourite here at Sew Me Sunshine. I personally love gingham. I've got a gingham jumpsuit, I've got gingham shoes, love it. Um, we've got loads of different colours of this beautiful yarn dyed cotton gingham um, and today I'm going to take you through just a little uh, selection that we've got here. We've got it in two different sizes as well of the square. So we've got one eighth inch and one third. Um, so if you want to um, mix and match your um, gingham sizes, that's a really nice thing to do, especially if you're making dresses or shirts and things like that. Um, now we thought it'd be really great, because, and I've seen this on Instagram a lot, um, and YouTube, people making dresses where they use, where the dresses have different tiers and they're different colours all the way up. Um, and the Pauline we thought, thought would work really nicely with this. So you could have sort of the bottom one be green, then the middle section be red, then the bodice be pink and the sleeves be blue, or whatever you wanted. And it would be really fun and really, really nice for um, the spring months and going into summer. So our next check it, we're gonna show you is Plaid of My Dreams. It's a pink, um, it's two shades of pink and a sort of off-white and it's quite a nice big check as well. It's a printed brushed cotton. It's a really nice weight as well. It's so soft. I cannot tell you how soft it is. Um, and we thought it'd be really nice to make a pair of pyjamas in this. And the pyjama pattern we chose is the Agnes pyjamas by Paper Theory. And um, they're really nice because they're really versatile. You could, they, and there's loads of options. So there's short shorts, uh, not short shorts, although you could make them in short shorts if you wanted to, but shorts, um, longer trousers, um, and it's got the um, shirt has a grown on sleeve and you can have it either a short sleeve, mid sleeve, whatever length you wanted. Um, and we thought that would be really nice. You can also make a sort of shacket using that pattern. A lot of people we've seen um, don't make it for pyjamas, but make it for sort of everyday wear. Um, and so that would be a really nice idea. You could also use this fabric for lining jackets. So I think the Thayer jacket lined with this would be really nice because it's really, really cozy, um, especially as we go into spring. Our next fabric is this yarn dyed double gauze. We've chosen the navy blue to show you today, but we've got a bunch of colors, including gray, light sage, mustard, red, and pink, yes. Thank you very much, Jenny. Um, and uh, we thought this uh, with this is such a perfect, um, uh, this is actually one of my favorite fabrics that we've got. I know I say that for everyone, but you know, this is one of my faves. Um, and it's so soft, it's got a beautiful drape, um, as you expect with a really nice, um, good quality double gauze. And the pattern that we have chosen is the pinnacle top by paper cut pans. Um, this is quite a, it's, it's a really cool top because um, it has a sort of cross front and we thought you could use the panels to show the different sizes of, um, of gingham and it would look really great. You could also do it with different colors um, and different patterns as well, um, but it would be really, really fun. And this, we, we were just talking as I was about to start talking about this fabric about how this would also make a pair, a really beautiful pair of Agnes pajamas because it's so soft. So yeah, think about that for the coming months. This is a Robert Kaufman mammoth flannel and this color is sea glass. Now we chose this because um, it's a really lovely weight and it's and this colorway is really nice as well, but we have a bunch of different um, Robert Kaufman mammoth flannels in lots of different colors, depending on what mood you are in. Um, they're so nice. They have, they're quite a nice medium weight as well. Um, so you can use them for linings or you can make shirts from them. Um, a lot of people make shirts from them, which is what we're gonna show you today. And we've gone for the Grainline Studio Archer button up. Um, it's quite a nice classic shirt, but Jenny was just showing me that in the newsletter this week, she um, put a picture in where someone had put a little ruffle around the collar, little ruffly um, sleeve as well. We love a ruffle here, so any excuse to add a ruffle, but we think that would look really great, especially in this, it would look just so nice, all sort of gathered up. 
we love it. Up next, we have this 100% visco slub. It's called Atlantis. It is beautiful. It's op it's pretty opaque. Um, it's got a really fluid drape and um, it's quite a light medium weight. Um, it's got this amazing grid on it. And then these abstract shapes, which are kind of Matisse-esque in bright colors. Um, this one kind of looks a little bit like an abstract pineapple. We've got bits of coral little bits of terrazzo-y kind of print. We love it and we think, well, you could pretty much make anything out of this and it would look amazing. Um, but we went for a cup. we've got a couple of options here. Firstly, um, Jenny picked out the Ninny Colottes by Named Patterns. Um, it would be just amazing to wear these with um, as a pair of trousers. I think coupled with something like um, an oversized shirt or like a boxy top, make it an outfit, big old statement with some groovy shoes, look amazing. Um, the other option we've got for you is the um, Zadie jumpsuit by Paper Theory. Um, again, it would just be amazing to show off this beautiful grid pattern and all these amazing shapes. Um, and also you could layer it up with a big old Cardi, as you know, we love to do here at Sony Sunshine. Our last fabric for you today in our Czech Grids Ginghams and Plaids special is this 100% viscose yarn dyed Czech um, that we have. It's a quite a lightweight fabric. As you can see, I'm wearing it today. Um, and I can confirm that it is a lovely fabric to wear, but also, and more importantly, to sew with. It's, it's also a bargain at the moment on the website. Um, so get on over there. Uh, it's as I said, it's really nice. It's got a really beautiful drape. Um, we've got three different colorways in it. Um, so um, have a look for that. I today am wearing a um, ponce dress from Deer and Doe. It was actually really easy to make. I put a little bit of a ruffle on, Jenny might put a picture in somewhere around here. Um, uh, I put a little bit of a ruffle on the bottom of my dress because it wasn't quite long enough. I like, um, basically to be fully covered all the time because um, I'm always cold as anyone in this studio will tell you um, and even though it's February at the moment and I'm wearing a, um, a spaghetti strap dress I've layered it up with about 600 layers of clothing and I'm wearing a woolly scarf so um, that's it's, it's a good option for all year round um, but yeah as I said it's really nice to sew with um, and it's a hard recommend from me Thank you so much for joining us again this week on Sew Me Sunshine's YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed our video on ginghams, grids, plaids and checks. We really, really enjoyed making it this week because we're really fond of all of those fabrics. Um, so don't forget to comment below and let us know which fabrics you liked and what you would make with them. And also let us know what kind of content you want to see us making on this channel because we love to hear feedback from you. Um, so yeah get writing in, we really, really would appreciate that. And we will see you next week.